party Coordination Is available Good morning! Good morning! It's Wednesday! Okay, Austin and I are in the car. We're headed to Kids Code Junior. I'm about to drop him off for the day to have some fun. He's playing Smash Brothers. I gotta head into the office, a couple things done, and then I'm off to Prime Fitness. Who's so excited to see me actually work out? This is the real deal episode for you. So sit back, relax. You are now entering the Coleman. Did it day three. All right, time to go pick up some food for tonight's cooking of rice. Uh, guess you gotta see. Well, 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 here we are in my home kitchen. In episode one, I talked about rice, but the real truth is tonight we're making falafels. <laughs> falafels, yes, a real meal that I will be creating, even though I have zero skills means I can't do this alone, so I'd like to bring in first guest ever. Here he is, Ace. Good evening, everyone. Pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. It's great to have you here. Because it is cooking, you have been to Germany. I have. Truth. You've used a knife. The, the, everyone thinks of, that's the first place people think of when they think <laughs> of cooking, is the land of Germany. We have Wusthof knives. Mm -hmm. So they're from oh, Germany. Oh, there's the connection. Yeah. I see, okay, yes. I'm not skilled. I have zero knife skills. I have had falafel before. Could you tell me who invented the falafel? Well, I thought you told me to say that we did, just here right now. I never said. Who invented the falafel? A person invented them? I mean, it could be a nation. A nation. <laughs> Would it be, uh, I, I mean, I think of the Middle East when I think of falafel. That's interesting uh, you say that. Is that your final answer? It's not a nation, but uh, I, I would zero in on the Middle East. Middle East. Okay, Alexa, who invented the falafel? The origin of falafel is controversial. A widely held theory is that the dish was invented in Egypt about 1,000 years ago by Egyptians. As Alexandria is a port city, it was possible to export the dish and name it to other areas in the Middle East. The dish later migrated northwards to the Levant, where chickpeas replaced the fava beans. Hence the controversy. I mean, any time a chickpea Go. pushes out a fava bean, you're going to have some natural tension there, right? Right. You think so? <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. So I'm assuming we're making then the Middle Eastern version because this is a chickpea base. Yes, here. In... Okay. I'm going to take the lead here. Okay. But I really would like your training base. Well, as a sous chef. Sort of a, sort of a thing today. Training. A sous chef takes his orders from the chef. By the way, this is the end product here. This is what we're That is the... Uh, End goal right here. In a large bowl, which I I thought this one was good. See through. Large, see through. Large yep. bowl. Combine the contents of one bag. The you, magic of TV. What do you know? The bag's right in the box. Pre opened. Oh, look at that. <coughs> I can see the controversy spilling out of that bag. <laughs> The contents of one bag with one third cup plus two tablespoons, which I also came right out. Just came right out of the sink. You could give that a nice stir, okay? 
let stand for 10 minutes. Is there any mixing techniques I need to get, or is it really just... Well, really, it's just make a decision between clockwise and counterclockwise. Choose one, stick to it, and, and you know, just get a nice little... You ever give it the other way, though? Never. Well, sometimes you might want to switch it up. You surprise the stuff inside the bowl when you switch it up. That way. You always keep them guessing is what I say. Makes sense. You know? We're going to let that now stand for 10 minutes. We'll be right back. Has everyone been fooled into getting to this right here? Getting this gift and getting it on Christmas Day and being like, wow, look how cool, we're gonna make these great gems and rocks. Oh, you are, are you? Why don't you wait seven days and listen to that? I've never seen the light in two, I can't take the noise. Look at that. Seven days hobby tumbler. We are back. This is settled, would you say is the term? I'd say it's ready for its next. Shape into one inch balls. Go do it. Just like go. I mean, yeah. gloves. I, mean, I, I have gloves. Look, one up, yeah. I mean, no, no, use your hands. You wash them, right? <laughs> Nobody wants a latex glove taste in their falafel. That'll add really? latex glove flavor in their falafel, which right. will inject more controversy right, than we like, already it, have. It really feels wonderful. So I'm gonna wash my hands. You make that first okay. ball. Okay, why, like, am I supposed to do the whole, like, roll? It's not really, like, is this, like, sticking together? Is what I'm gonna do, ready? I think that's perfect. Oh. <laughs> I think that's exactly what they contemplated in Egypt a thousand years ago. Keep going. Keep going. You don't even have to put your hands in here then. Don't stop. Why should you get messy? When you're that good, Stick with it, but you're running out of stuff there. And that said, oh, right. That said, it makes 12 <laughs> balls. <laughs> Maybe we were supposed to use two packets. Yeah. It says here to fry with corn oil, and I don't have corn oil, so I have this had fried chicken on the packet. <laughs> I, I think that that's probably okay. A that's what I thought too. What's there between large tomatoes and red vines? Red vines look like to me as a graphic designer. Red vines look like what I would use if someone said, "Oh, design me a flyer <laughs> that has tomatoes on." I would use a red vine because it has that natural like in your head what you think of tomatoes. While these are not as red. No surprises here. We cut into the <laughs> tomato, and there is in fact what you would expect to find in a tomato. Oh, a tomato wow, amazing. Like, this is revolutionary what they're doing right here. <laughs> Iron Chef feature. Oh, it hurts to sit down so much. Oh, this is way better. I think those are gonna be terrible now. Very late. Oh, yours are, whoa! What are you trying to upstage <laughs> me? Mine and I haven't looked like that at once. Maybe you should make your own and eat all yours and we'll <laughs> compare it. You did a great job on the tomatoes, thank you. It's a lot of years studying. In Germany. <laughs> <laughs> it smells fantastic. I like that smell, that chickpea smell. Somewhere there's a lot of falafel enthusiasts that are gonna be very bitter about that comment that you just made. What, that it's not good? I, I like mean, it. That you love it. We know that, or the, I mean, fava bean enthusiasts. Oh, right, I forgot. You know, because of the controversy, and you gotta be careful on the internet when Wait. you start inflaming controversy. I can eat this, right? Did Great. you? Did you already eat some? Pour corn oil, but... We have vegetable oil. Pour vegetable oil into a heavy skillet or saucepan, bring a depth of one half inch, or a half an inch, uh -huh. heat to 350. What is that? How am I gonna determine that? It's an impossibility. Why does, why do we even put that down? People have thermometers. People are gonna use a the thermometer over there. That's an unrealistic goal. That's yeah, true. <laughs> Maybe scientists. Add falafel and fry until golden brown, about two minutes each. You have a thermometer? I thought no one had these. Oh. My wife makes candy. I have a thermometer. New development here. Thermometers are useful. Somebody stands corrected. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. See, you don't need corn oil. Beautiful. Yeah. That's HD. Hi, Def. Oh. Someday I want to tell a story that, about how when you brought, invited me over to your apartment uh, shortly after we had graduated college to show me, you were one of the first people, you won an HDTV. And I came over to your apartment to see this HDTV because I have never seen HD before. And I sat down, you turned it on and go, 
That's an HT. <laughs> and it was hooked up with a coax cable. And lo and behold, I put an HDMI in it and changed your life the real HD. Between the two of us tonight, we make a dynamic team. <laughs> a dynamic team right there. <laughs> Definitely flipping now. That one might be a little burnt. I like them burnt though. That's you know? Yeah. Character, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the first time I've ever made them in my life. And I would ask if you let us know um, where you stand on the controversy. Oh yeah. The removal of the fava bean in favor of the chickpea. I'm a fan. I'm chickpea. Hashtag chickpea below in the comments. And if you and hashtag fava if you're still bitter about All it. All right. What is that thing called? This is called a ball remover. I don't believe that is the name of that. In the comments below, what is this? I am so. My mouth is watering right now. Next, we'll make them. Now we make the sandwich and try it for what everyone. What do we do? Do we just eat them like just like that, or is no, 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 no? Oh, there's a process here. Okay. I mean, look. This is the box. Here's a pita. Lovely. I have a pita, they're nicely sliced open. You know, jam in the bottom right. as like a nice bed, so right. if you'd like. Oops. I'm gonna grab one and just see how it goes. Yeah. Oh well, Play it by ear. mine kind of open. Well, right like that. Right like that? Nice, tahini all over that. Yeah, just tahini. Tahini. <laughs> tahini! Yeah. Looks well, tremendous, this it smells tremendous. good. And then lastly, I would say is to take a nice slice. I'm not saying, I don't think this looks so unlike the picture. No! It's close. Yours looks a lot better, too. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Take your time. It's fine, we'll wait. <laughs> okay, All let's right, see. Now we bite. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Like I'm riding down, down the Nile. I'm gonna say success. 